What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the shop and welcome back to part three of doing all the color match work to this fifth gen Cummins behind me. If you saw in the last upload, we got all the parts in primer and we also got this roll pan bolted up on this thing, looking absolutely sick. So in today's video, we are gonna start the painting process. The owner is trying to go with a gloss black and color match combo. He doesn't wanna go too much color match because he doesn't want it to make it look like too much. He just kind of wants that OEM plus look, a couple of nice touches. So we are gonna be starting with these hood badges. These are the ones that go right in here. They actually just pop into the hood. We're gonna be getting rid of the heavy duty red we're actually just gonna be painting that gloss black and we're also gonna paint this trim surround around here gloss black. The owner wants to leave the chrome 2500 in there just for a little bit of contrast, just to keep a little bit of chrome on the truck. So we're gonna get started by taking this emblem apart. We actually have to break the factory plastic welds in there because I can't paint it assembled like that. It would just be way too much prep and honestly, it just wouldn't hold up good. There they are, everything is all disassembled. We are gonna go ahead and start prepping these up. The red ones I'm just gonna scuff, but these I'm gonna have to sand pretty heavily because they are chrome. So let's get to doing that now. Emblems are all sanded. We still have to wipe these off before paint, but other than that, they are ready to go. The next thing we're gonna be painting black on this truck is the taillights. I do love the Ram taillights, at least the new body style Ram taillights, because they are really intricate. And you can do a lot with paint just to kind of make these things look a lot better. We are gonna go ahead and paint these black. So the entire taillight's gonna get painted black. But we're gonna leave the red in this area here, which is your running light. We're gonna leave the clear in here, here, and here. Other than that, the entire taillight will be getting painted black. Let's get these out so we can get them sanded and get them ready to spray. So real quick, before I went any farther, I kind of wanted to show you what I'm doing here. So this is my finished product. This over here is just what happened after I hit it with the machine. The DA can't really get in some of these cracks and stuff. After I went over everything with the DA, I went ahead and block sanded everything out with some 600, and then I went off with a scuff band. Now, if you look, there's still some spots in here that are shiny. I probably have a good 45 minutes just in prepping this one light alone. There's a lot of cracks and crevices, but it's really important important that every single little piece of shiny, even that little bit in there, gets sanded because otherwise the paint could potentially peel. It would take a good hour each light to make them completely finished. And then after that, what I'm gonna have to do is mask up all this stuff inside so I don't paint it. I have to mask up the fine line tape, all this, so clear, and then this in here, like I said earlier. So these taillights definitely take some patience. Like I said, an hour in each light just in sanding. You know, I didn't even mask anything up yet. But I'm I'm gonna keep going on these to get them done because I am excited to see the final outcome because I know these things are gonna look sweet. I definitely think that Ram has the nicest looking taillights on their newer trucks comparing them to Ford and to GM. And with that, all the prep work to the emblems and the lights are done. Hunter did help me finish these up here. And now the hard part is gonna be to mask them up. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to make sure all my edges are nice and sharp because I have to mask up five areas here. So it's gonna take me a little bit of time for each. Let's get to doing that and then we'll get them right in the booth. <laughs>
guys. So everything is in the booth. It's actually right here beside me right now. I'm going to also be painting a truck. Here is the tail lights. So those are all ready to go. I just need to finish wiping them off. We have a GMC here that we did some repair work on. So I'm going to be painting this. This is also black. We're also doing the bumpers on the truck. We also have the heavy duty for the Cummins as well as these side badge trim rings. And if you take notice, I'm also painting some Ford emblems as well as some side reflectors. All this stuff's going black. So it's just easier just to stick it all in the booth at once and just try to paint everything. So let's head in and start mixing up some primer so we can start to spray in this stuff. Here she is, boys and girls. We got the taillights completely murdered out here. I can't wait to peel this tape off just to kind of see the contrast from the red in here and the clear. It's gonna look really, really nice. Also got the bedside all sprayed. This is ready for clear. Bumpers sprayed, ready for clear. We also got all this stuff up here ready to roll. These reflectors, heavy duty, Ford emblems, and these as well, all black. The next thing I'm gonna do is get to peeling all this tape off and then we're gonna get to spraying some clear. So we went ahead and pulled the parts we just painted out of the booth and guys just check it out i mean everything looks fantastic i kind of laid out the hood badges just so you can kind of see taillights out looking great and while we were finishing up all that the guys actually got everything in the booth here so we have everything for this truck ready to rock and roll so basically let me go over everything we have we have the hood grill pieces here so these are the little side like canards that go on the side of the grill we got our rear bumper sensors as well as sensor rings or i should say roll pan sensors and sensor rings we got these prepped up ready to roll we have some couple pieces for the mirrors here we have the mirrors itself these have been completely primered everything is sanded smooth and these are ready to roll as well we're gonna wipe all this down before we start painting front bumper got it back from sandblasting it's been primered and sanded prepped ready to go as well as all the grill pieces these are all in primer ready to go so this is all getting painted right now and wrapping up we got the mirror caps on both sides or i guess the mirror like arm 
arms and then the roll pan itself. I know in the last upload you saw me install the roll pan. So it's actually been a couple of days since that video. And what happened was I put the roll pan on and I put it on with just double side tape. And I think I said in the video, you still have to reinforce it with screws. Well, basically I didn't reinforce the roll pan in with screws. So what had happened was just from sitting over those couple days without any screws in it, the edges here started to kind of pop from the bedside. So it wasn't actually sticking. What we decided to do so I can paint all this stuff at once is I just decided to go ahead and pull the roll pan back off so we can just spray it and then we'll put it on afterwards. We also did work on getting the waves out. They actually look really good. We kind of sanded them just so they were nice and smooth, but that's going to look a lot better on the truck without those big dips in there. And as you can see, we also went ahead and drilled some starter holes and we gave them a little countersink so the screw goes down in. So that's going to be really nice. All that's ready to roll. So without further ado, for the second time in this video, let's get to spraying. sealer sprayed on everything. I did not seal these pieces because this is actually a primer sealer that I had already put on here. So I don't have to worry about putting any sealer on top of that. But everything else that didn't have this primer on got sealed. Mirrors are done. These are good. These pieces and the roll pan are all completed. We did have a couple little spots we had to sand out on the roll pan. There was actually some little bit of what you call pinholes that was actually into the plastic. So we got those sanded out. They look a lot better. It's the little stuff like that that really goes a long way. We just decided to sand it out and make it nice because I wouldn't want that to take away from the finished product because this thing's gonna look great. So without further ado, let's start spraying this granite crystal metallic. <laughs> Alrighty boys, we are making some progress here. All the granite crystal metallic has been sprayed. Everything laid out fantastic. I wanna give you a quick close up of the pinholes. Those filled in perfectly. You can't even tell that they were ever there. So everything looks really, really nice on the roll pan and honestly all the other parts are awesome as well. So the next step is gonna be clear. At this point in the video, we are finally done with painting, so let's check it out. If you've made it 
it to this point in the video, first and foremost, I wanna say thank you for sticking around with me through all of this. As a special thank you, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek into what is gonna happen in the next upload. So, here it is. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got the lighting situation for this truck on point, to be perfectly honest. We got the headlights back from Retro Shop. They took them apart, built inside. They put LED, color-changing LEDs in the top and bottom of the running lights, put the clears manufacturing side markers, and then they painted the inside black. And guys, just check it out. I mean, this is gonna look fantastic. Fantastic. With the rest of the paint match we are doing, the black grill in the middle, the side badges on the hood. Wow, this truck is really, really, really gonna be a big transformation here. Now, moving along to the back, yes, we did get the taillights in the truck already. So these are the ones we did right at the beginning of the video. And check these out, guys. I mean, gosh, the lighting on this thing is gonna be fantastic. This is one thing that can really set your build apart is a nice set of custom headlights and taillights really just going to transform this whole truck along with the paint match and these extra couple things we're doing this right here is going to make it unique so once again guys i did want to thank you for sticking around with me if you liked what you saw here drop a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and drop a comment as well let me know what you guys thought if you like the direction that this build is going please let me know in the comment section down below on a final note here please make sure you subscribe tap that bell icon as well because you don't want to miss when this thing Things done. I'll catch you in the next upload.